the long-necked dinosaur or the bronchiosaurus? Different colors, different tail sizes from beadkids.com. So our challenge was to take 500 beads, a mixture of beads, and I used almost every one to make these five creatures a pterodactyl, an alligator with the eyes sticking up, this long neck, Bron bronchiosaurus, a snail, and a stegosaurus. So this pattern. On the graph paper, these patterns look a little odd, and on the bead boards, they look a little odd. But it'll work out. Just watch. We start with our straws. We cut a point on our straws, and then we cut our straws lengthwise. You almost push it through this and then you pull it through. Push it, cut, push the straw onto the scissors and slice it up. The straws will act like a spring and hold your beads on. So the tail we will, we will string up and down the bronchiosaurus from side to side. And the legs will be side to side. We'll start with our first row, and you put the beads in the same pattern onto a straw. Just go one by one. The straws act like a spring and just hold the beads on. The straws are easy to cut. I move them down to the end of the straw and I cut the straws with side cut pliers or scissors and I begin the next row. Going row by row. I'm going to leave the, the top of the body. You'll see why later. The little straws, you can do the two, two beads or the three bead sets. So anything more, two beads or more, I put a straw in it. On the single beads, I do not put a straw in. Now I'm starting on the head. setting that little nose mouth aside as a single bead. This is the neck. Short pieces of twos. Now the tail, you can make the tail uh, any size. I mean, I think this tail's a little bit large. It's basically row by row, adding them to the straws and cutting the straws. Finishing up the legs, and then everything has straws in. We're ready to start stringing it. So lanyards are optional. Your basic lanyard is put the loop through, pull the tail through the loop, and pull it tight. Another version is put it through the lanyard, tie a half a knot, and then take the loop, pop it under the lanyard, 
straighten your string out and pull it tight. It's a little more secure. And we'll re review our knots. Left over right and right over left is a square knot. Right over left. Left over right and then over right again is a surgeon's knot. So I'm going to start with the head. I put the right needle in the right side, the left in the left. And I move on. The stringing part goes really quick now that the pattern's all laid out. I'm adding this single bead just as an extra piece. If you like it, you can add it. It could be a nose, mouth. add an extra stitch the row above and, and the current row to tighten the nose. And we start on our neck. Now I'm going to take two of the loose beads and put them on without the straw and go ahead and string it and pass my right needle to the left side and tie a square knot and then I'm going to restring the head going up the right needle goes in the right side left needle on the left side just for strength and because I have string get up to the top and tie a square knot or surgeon's knot add a dab of glue and while the glue is wet pull it tight trim the tails and with your metal needle take the knot and the tails and tuck it into a bead it won't even show and now we're ready to make uh, to take another straw and add the, the rest of the body pieces and then we're going to just take those two beads and pass them through the straw and the head is complete. <laughs> and, uh, um, but if, if you have to start with something, and just trim, trim the straw to the correct length. Don't pull your beads off. But if they do come off, easy to put them back on. Now we're going to do something similar to the lakes. I got about four feet of string that I've doubled. And I take the foot of the dinosaur and start stringing it. The three sets of two beads. And then I'm going to take two beads from the body and without a straw and string them on because we'll be adding them to the straw in a few minutes. Tie a knot. You can restring it for a little more stability if you'd like. If I have string, I always do. And then tie another knot. I like to get my knots in the middle of the bead. 
not between two beads. Add some glue, trim the tails, and then with your metal needle, tuck the knot and tail into a bead. So there's our first foot. We're going to do that same thing to the second. I have doubled my string on, on both of these uh, on this project. So I cut twice as much string as I need. And I take two more beads off the straw. And add them to the basically the top of the leg bottom of the body. Tie a knot. Reinforce. straw um, and following the pattern I add one single bead and then I add one leg and I add two beads and I add the other leg and then I add you know like two more I trim the straws and there's the leg of our dinosaur Now to string our dinosaur together, we're only basically have five rows to do. So I'll take maybe six feet of string doubled and put, put the string through the, the very top of the body. And then start crisscrossing the next row, the right needle in the right side, the left needle in the left side. Sometimes when you cut your straws, it'll kind of kink them and you have to just open them back up. There we go. That was easy five rows. Tighten it. Cross the string to the left side and tie a knot. And then string it again up the body and I will be adding the tail so I know that so I want the knot at the the back end of the dinosaur. Starting at the body, putting my string halfway through, I probably have eight, ten feet of string doubled over, so I'm working with about three or four. And you just string the tail. Right needle in the right side, <clears throat> left needle in the left side.
paint in your project. And tie the first square knot. And restring your project. Then you just pass, pass it through the body of the dinosaur. I don't have quite enough string, so if you had enough string, you could just keep doing this. And I'll add, I'll just take about two feet of string, enough to tie my dinosaur on. And there, welcome to the world. Have fun. Be creative.